hey guys welcome back so i'm showing you how i made this uh, garland made out of fresh eucalyptus and how you can make your own so for the garland you can use any fresh greenery or any foliage that you like i chose eucalyptus as you can see here the branches are a little long so i cut them in half you really don't need more than i want to say 12 inches no longer than a foot to create the bunches that we're going to make so once you cut your branches into the specific length that you want, then you can start making your bunches. Uh, again, mine are about 12 inches long. And so now that I have a few of them cut, I will start piling them together to create my bunches. And of course, the more uh, branches that you add, the more volume that your garland's going to have. So that's really up to you. In the bottom, we are going to uh, wrap it with floral wire, which is what I found worked best to wrap around the bottom. Of the bunches originally i was trying to use these ornament hooks i just thought they would work better because they're already pre-cut to their green and um, i thought they would be easier to wrap around but actually they're not these are actually sturdier so it doesn't give me that tight grip that the floral wire does so i i skipped that and i decided to come back to the floral wire i've seen this floral wire at uh, even at dollar tree honestly but the time that i went they only had different colors and um, they also had these other ones uh, that are just a little thicker, different colors. So again, going back to the floral wire. And I love that it comes with an easy cut hook here. So all you have to do is pull it and make sure you put it all the way to the back of the hook. And then all you have to do is press it and it will cut. You will have your piece of wire. And like I said, this one's actually uh, thinner and it's easier to wrap around. It is floral wire. So it's actually made specifically for uh, small bunches like the ones we're gonna make so because of the flexibility I do recommend you get this uh, floral wire this one I purchased at Hobby Lobby for uh, $4.99 and the uh, cashier said these don't go on sale ever so I was able to use the coupon that they have okay so what we're doing here is once you have your bunch all you have to do is wrap the piece around the bunch to uh, hold it together put grip on it so once you wrap the wire around a few times, then you can use floral tape to go over the wire. You don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, I did do this and I'm gonna do this again with every bunch just because I think it creates a stronger grip and a smoother grip as well. Even though the ends are not gonna be visible when you have your finished garland, but sometimes a wire has an end that sticks out. So I thought it was just easier to uh, have this over the wire and um, it actually does make them a little sturdier and stronger so I do recommend doing the floral tape over the wire once you're done with the tape at the end of the end tape all you have to do is slightly press it onto the existing tape and it will uh, sort of melt onto the tape that you already have wrapped around so now you make a few of these bunches and we can start putting the garland together so you begin by stacking the bunches in order to create the garland. So my first bunch that I have, I'm going to stack the second bunch on top of it halfway down or so. And we are going to secure them together with floral wire. And for this step, you don't have to cut the floral wire as long as you did um, when you were wrapping the bunches around. This one is a little longer, so it is taking a little longer to wrap. But uh, again, you don't have to cut that long of a wire. All we're doing is trying to secure both bunches together and we will continue to do the same step in order to make the garland longer. So once you create the length that you want for the garland, we are going to need the end piece on the other side of the garland. So as you can see, they're facing one direction when you're creating the garland. But once you're done, we have to put an end to the garland by putting a bunch on the opposite direction. And we do the same thing. We just wrap the... Uh, floral wire around the existing bunch just to kind of create the end here so my garland is more of a fall garland that's why i decided to do the pumpkins but i also decided to add some cinnamon to it it already smells like the fresh eucalyptus but again i wanted to add uh, the cinnamon smell to it so uh, you can actually just use the cinnamon sticks and stick them around the garland or if you want to make it more sturdier then you can put the a floral wire through the cinnamon stick and uh, have that attached to one of the bunches uh, wherever you're going to have it uh, 
set. You can also add a citrusy smell with these mandarins. The cinnamon along with the smell of these cuties and the eucalyptus does have a good combination. So you can run wire through them or just set them around the garland. So because this is a fresh garland, I do recommend you making this the day of the event or even the day before. But um, if that's not possible, then you can actually make it before that and put it in the refrigerator and it will prevent wilting. As far as decoration, you can um, add pretty much whatever you want. You can leave it plain also, and that looks beautiful. Uh, you can also make it Christmassy and add the ornaments or even candles around. So again, make it your own, have fun making it, and I hope you enjoyed this video once again. I'll see you guys next time.